welcome back to another video in this video we'll learn uh, how to create class models in flutter so i have a, a project set up already so in main dot dot the basic template uh, so i'm calling the home widget which is inside the screens folder so i've just created one app bar and i've used the list builder to uh, display text 10 times okay so this was so this is a basic code template i already have this is the output so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list of uh, data let's say a, a student data to display it in our uh, flutter app so i'll just create a list i'll name it as student and each student should have a name so i'll write the name then let's say uh, uh, his roll number which is integer then he has his blood group right okay then let's say uh, we have his marks okay uh, let's say 90 so so to keep it simple we'll just use this for data so obviously there, there are going to be uh, multiple students right so we'll just cut this control x i'll create another list inside the uh, student list which is which we call nested list so in this i'll just uh, paste it so i'll create another list let's say this is uh, and his row number is 111 and his blood group is positive and he has a score of 80 so i'll just copy paste this multiple times and in the name i'll just add one number so that we can see a difference okay and i'll so we have created one student list and I'm just going to print that list in the list builder. I will just give the length of student and uh, in our text using string. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be display, displaying the student data. So from the IE index, we'll have to first print name, then we have to print. first index which is roll number then we have to print second index which is blood group then we have to print third index which is marks so we'll just try to hot restart it and we'll see how what the difference so we, we got the uh, output in our uh, app so all the all the data in this list has been displayed so this method is quite simple it's straightforward it's simple we are we are able to do it but in larger projects let's say uh, we want to add more data to this or we want to reorder this data so it will become difficult for us to identify uh, which type of value is stored in which index now we know that name is stored in first index what if it was reordered in some way and we, we, we can't find the uh, index of the name or blood group or stuff like that. So here is where uh, model class comes in. So we'll convert this list into model. I'll show you how. So we'll create a folder called models. And inside this, we'll add all our models, models of our project. So in this case, we just have one, we have to create one model, which is student model. So it's basically a class. So we'll give a class name and we'll define all the uh, values that we have to use which we have used in this list so first is name right uh, second is okay let's say blood group right uh, next is roll number next is marks 
So now what we'll do is we'll create a constructor for this. So we'll create a constructor. And generally constructors are like you create a parenthesis and outside that we give our curly braces, right? In this case, we will close this class and inside the parameters, we will give our curly braces. Okay. And we will have to uh, uh, pass our global variables which we have given here. So, how we will pass the global variables, how we will reference the global vari variables using this keyword. So, I will just add this and I will put a dot on it. So we get a list of all the variables which we have uh, 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 defined it in our class. So first we have name, then we have blood group, then we have mass, then we have roll number. So this is how you create a model class. So but you can see that we have an error here. So to solve this, so basically there are two ways we can solve this. One is we can uh, define that this name can be null. So we'll just put a question mark next to the uh, data type. So we are telling the class model that this variable, this uh, name can be of null type. Or if it can't be null type, then we have to add a required statement here which means that if you pass this class model which is student model then mandatory you will have to pass this uh, name right if we don't pass this we can pass a question mark here we can give a question mark here which will say that this is optional the values can contain string or it can be empty which is null so in our case I let's I'll just add required to all the values here. So this is how we, we create class models. So now we will see how to replace our list to this class model. So what I'll do is I'll just delete all this, but I'll keep the list. Now I'll define the list. Uh, I'll give a. I'll define this list. I'll tell this list what what all the values it will contain so it will contain student model so it's this generic right so inside this student list i'll pass instead of nested list earlier which we used here we'll use student model if you just type student model if you have the uh, intelligence automatically it will display you all the parameters here but what I will do is I will just delete this and I will show you from scratch. So what we did, we created our, we wrote our class name with the parenthesis. Okay. Now inside this, to find what all parameters we can pass, we will just click on control space. Okay. Uh, so we have four values which here which we can pass. So first value is name. So we can pass our name here. Second is blood group, third is marks, fourth is roll number, right. So we created one model of for one student, similarly we will do it for the students. I will just copy paste this below. Okay. Now we have defined our list inside this list we have used uh, we have passed our class model which is student model. Uh, so now we have to use this value instead of passing indexes. So it makes the process way simpler and uh, uh, and easy to uh, get the values out of it. So what we will do is we will delete this I will write from scratch. So we have to pass student which is the list name and inside the student will pass the index zero zero index first index okay and let's say when index is zero it will call it will be reference to this class model so from this class model we have to access name blood group marks and stuff all the parameters all the values 
so I'll just add one dot and we can see a list of options that we can see and I'll just click on name so instead of using this index I'm directly saying that from this index from the list pass name so this becomes way more simpler and we'll pass other values as well so we have roll number we have blood group and we have marks so I'll just save it and I'll give a hot restart we can see that we got all our values so the only difference is earlier we use index which can get complex when we have larger projects um, and we have replaced that with class models so class models can be used in many ways this is one of the uh, way that we, we use uh, it will be mostly used in APA calls and stuff where you have multiple uh, parameters so and we can convert that into class models we'll see that in the next video until then show your support by subscribing to this channel see you in the next video